Be vulnerable, be strong. Michael Rebuck. I, I was sitting there and I just couldn't wait to start. It's so great to have you all here. We have fellow Dustmasters, we have friends from, our, from the different clubs. It's really an awesome opportunity and I uh, sincerely thank you for it. Now before I start, all of us know about Zed. Yeah, the time I can already start counting, but uh, all of us know about Zed. Do we know about Zed? Yes. yes. Cool. Uh, have any, has any of you seen the uh, talk called The Power of Vulnerability? Okay, great. Now, what I'm going to do is a different topic. <laughs> I mean, a, a different talk, but it was inspired by that. Now, let's start. I am a vulnerable person. I get hurt all the time by things people do, things people say, things people think, things people could have thought. <laughs> I get hurt way too often, but I'm not a weak person. And my question for today is, can a vulnerable person be strong? And the answer is yes, of course. <laughs> now, let's start with a simple example. The strongest person in the world. Arnold Schwarzenegger runs into a gunfight. Bang, 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 he shoots the opponents, and all of a sudden, he is wounded in the shoulder. He's like, oh my god, and he needs to continue the fight. He concentrates on the opponent, he shoots him down, and he wins the fight. Now, that's the strong guy. But let's think for a while, why do we call him strong? What is the definition of strong? Maybe a strong person is someone who can throw Coca-Cola there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yes. Well, I was thinking of a definition and the one I love most is a strong person is a person capable of achieving his goals under stressful circumstances. This definition works completely with the example above, but not only it works for physical world examples, it, only, it also works for emotional world. Uh, some of you might know that Arnold had a divorce in 2011. And uh, imagine he would have to give his speech as a governor of California in front of the voters in the process of his divorce. Can you imagine how hard it would be, emotionally hard it would be for him to do that? But I'm sure he would go there and not only deliver a confident speech, but he would also be able to open his heart, his wounded heart, to those people. And that's a strong guy, a person who can achieve his goals under stressful circumstances. Okay, now that we're clear about what strong is, let's think about what vulnerable is. Uh, according to uh, Oxford Dictionary of Meanings, vulnerable is open to being attacked or harmed physically or emotionally. So basically it's being able to be hurt. Now, was Arnold vulnerable in those situations? His shoulder is completely vulnerable. It's open to being wounded, and the bullet was there. In the divorce case, none of us wears an armor on his heart. Saying goodbye to a person you've lived with for so many years is a lot of pain, even if your name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. So yes, he was vulnerable, and it did hurt, but he could deal with it. He could achieve the goals he had. And the question is, how did he do that? And I will show you the answer. Yes, I will show you the answer. When working out at the gym, Arnold had a very famous saying. He, was, he used to say, when my body says, no, I say, yes! <laughs> Our efforts make us strong. Our decisions make us strong. And vulnerability or hurt feelings by themselves don't make us weak. Our weak decisions make us weak. And lack of effort makes us weak. So please don't blame vulnerability. As you know, oh, something I forgot to do. <laughs> so please don't blame vulnerability. As we know from the TED talk, 
vulnerability is your potential to deeply feeling this life, to feel true love, true compassion to other people, and sometimes true pain. But when you are hurt, it is up to you to decide to act like a strong person. So friends, let us make the right decisions, let us stay vulnerable, and let us be strong. Thank you.